Okay, this cam is really crappy. So, um, you can just listen or something. I don't know, but, uh, yeah, this is a really crappy, um, camcorder. I'm on the computer, which, um, I, uh, usually use for my videos. is broken. Um, well, the computer is broken. I'm gonna try to get it fixed soon. So, yeah, this is a really crappy, um, cam, but what can you do? So, it's been a year since Final Destination 5 was released in theaters. It released one year ago today. And I actually saw it opening day in IMAX 3D and it was the most fun I ever had the movies. I mean the I mean seeing the deaths in IMAX 3D, the bridge collapse, everybody screaming and cheering at the right moments. It was the most fun I had the movies ever. So it's been a year since my most fun experience at the movies and it's been a year since um it was released, and instead of watching the Olympics closing ceremony, I watched Final Destination 5 again, um, uh, and it still holds up after a year, I mean, I mean, after it was released, um, the first, I mean, after I saw it a year ago, I, it was at Kalahari, which I went to, um, the November following, which is, like, September, like, three months later, I before it was even released on Blu-ray Kalahari, the, um, Water Resort had it on, um, on, um, on their movie listing on demand, and I watched it. And then when it was released, December 27, 2011, I watched it, um, a week or two later, um, I, uh, watched it with my friend, who was seeing it for the first time. And a couple months later, I just watched the game for the heck of it, so I've seen it. One, two, um, three, four, five. This was my sixth time seeing the movie. <laughs> so, I've seen Final Destination 5 six times now. And the movie really never gets old. I mean, it's the best of the Final Destination franchise, I think. It still holds up after a year. And, you know, I've seen it six times now. It's, uh... I think it's a really good movie. I think it's a good movie, and um, yeah, it has been a year um, since it was released in theaters, and um, and um, I think we're going to see another Final Destination movie in either two or um, in either one year or two years because Final Destination Five was released. Um, two years after, um, the first movie, um, I mean, no, not, I mean, after the fourth movie, um, but all the other sequels came out three years after the last one, so I think we're either going to see another Final Destination movie next year, or the year after that, so either 2013 or 2014, I think we'll see Final Destination 6, but, I don't know, maybe they were intending it, um, to, um, have it be the ending, because, um, if you've seen the movie, you know that, um, that it does kind of bring the series kind of full circle, kind of, I mean, if it is an ending, it's a good ending, because the ending, I mean, if it is an ending, I think it's a pretty good ending, because, um, well, I can't really say without spoilers, but, um, it definitely brings the series full circle, I mean, there is still one thing we don't know, which is, um, who that, um, who that, um, who Blood Whoop Corona is. I mean, we still don't really know who he is. Like, how does he know everything? We still don't know that. So I think they should make one more movie which wraps up the franchise completely, which shows who that guy is, but leave it a mystery as to how we get the visions, because, I mean, you're su it's supposed to be a mystery, and, um, and if, um, they kind of ruin it, that'd be just kind of bad. So I think they should make one more movie, um, explain who that guy is, but some people say, no, I like the mystery of not knowing who he is, and that's fine, but I think, um, I'd like to know who he is. 
But if um, they don't make a move, another movie saying that's it, then I'm fine because um, other than not knowing who that guy is, Final Destination 5 does pretty much wrap up the franchise. They probably figured what it's just people dying and weird things. There's no story to it. I mean, there is a little bit of story to it, but um, uh, but um, to the franchise, but not much. I mean. I feel like Final Destination 5 is the first kind of more story thing, um, since the second movie. I mean, Final Destination, um, you know, was the first movie. Final Destination 2 was actually, like, a direct, it was a direct sequel to, um, the first movie. I mean, actually, a character from the first movie actually came back for the second one. So it pretty much brings... I mean, the second movie is pretty much like a direct sequel to the first movie. And Final Destination 3 and 4, um, they don't really have story. They're just, um, people, um, dying in random ways, even though they're both good movies. Although the fourth one was a little... I mean... Before Final Destination 5, the third one was my favorite in the franchise, but, um, the fourth movie was originally intended, um, to, um, bring up, um, it was originally going to be the ending, but a lot of people didn't really like it, so I guess they made another one, which I'm glad that they did, because that's the ending. Although the ending of the fourth movie does kind of make you question the franchise in a new way, like, um, the last line of the movie is the main character saying something to, um, the other surviving characters, and then that's pretty much the last words of the movie, and it makes you think, what if he's right? I mean, it makes you look at the franchise a different way, so maybe they were intending that to be the ending, but then, you know, this, this movie came along, but, um, I don't know, I mean... I think they should make at least one more movie, which pretty much closes the franchise completely. And maybe reboot it later, I don't know, but, um... I'm not sure what the accident should be. I was thinking, if you're gonna make it the ending, make it the biggest accident, like, maybe, like, um... One that I've had in mind is, like, a huge building collapsing. And, um... The people are stuck in the building. And then, you know, they die, and the guy has the vision, guy or female, um, and, um, you know, he wants them to get out of the building, get out of the city beforehand, you're probably thinking, um, but it's a whole city previously being destroyed. Maybe have it be, um, be a while, um, before, but still have things happen or something, but, um, I don't know, I just think Final Destination 5 still holds up after a year after seeing it six times. I mean, it's a good movie after a year, and I expect we'll see a Final Destination 6 in, um, one or, like, one to two years. 